Uh, Dylan Farrow giving her first television interview with Gail King in many years. It aired today on CBS this morning. As you can imagine, this is so emotional and it's so raw for her and very intense um, and in some detailing uh, very disturbing um, allegations of sexual assault against her estranged father back when she was seven years old. Woody Allen, of course, is her estranged father. And she said, you know, she has been dealing with the consequences of this ever since. Well, we ran some of the interview yesterday, but look what happened when Gail showed Dylan an old clip of Woody on 60 Minutes back in 1992, denying her accusations. Are you okay with looking at it? You okay? Isn't it illogical that I'm going to, at the height of a, a very bitter, acrimonious custody fight, drive up to Connecticut where nobody likes me in the house. I'm, I'm with a house full of enemies. I mean, Mia was so enraged at me and, and she had gotten all the kids to, to be angry at me that I'm going to drive up there and suddenly on visitation pick this moment in my life to become a child molester. It's just, it's just incredible. I could, if I wanted to be a child molester, I had many opportunities in the past. I could have quietly made a, a, a custody settlement with Mia in some way and done it in the future. I mean, you know, it's so insane. What do you say to that? I'm really sorry. Don't apologize. Don't apologize. I thought I could handle it. I, um... Are you crying because of what he said or seeing him? What is upsetting you? He's lying and he's been lying for so long. And it is difficult for me to see him and to hear his voice. I'm sorry. Mm. That reaction, though, is so telling. I mean, the trauma that she still feels when she sees him talking about was a very painful thing in her life and how he denies the allegations. Um, I watched that whole 60 Minutes interview again today. It's about 15 minutes long, but um, he makes some valid points, but at the same time, a child who is seven years old, you know when you're being touched in an inappropriate way, and you do not forget that. And clearly, she has not that. forgotten and carried no. around all these years. And she describes it, sorry, in the, in the Gail interview, she describes, you know, my dad took me up to that crawl space, had me play with my brother's train, laying down on my stomach, and then she describes in detail what he did to her. Uh, and then, I mean, we go back, we talked about it yesterday, but the judge in the case found that Mr. Allen's behavior towards Dylan was grossly inappropriate mm -hmm. and that measures must be taken to protect her for a judge after seeing everything and everything coming forward to come forward with that and to be part of his statement and again I just think as a mom and a little girl yeah. to go through all that still raw and then to not be believed and but we should say he's twice been investigated and he's never been charged that said um, he also did respond uh, to Dylan's interview in a statement saying in part even though the Farrow family is cynically using the opportunity afforded by the Time's Up movement to repeat the, this discredited allegation that doesn't make it any more true today than it was in the past. I never molested my daughter as all investigations concluded a quarter of a century ago. Um, but there, there are disturbing um, patterns of behavior. And, and if you go back to the interview, even just his relationship with, uh, with Mia's adopted daughter, which he makes clear, he was like, I didn't, it, it was not, he's like, Me, my adopt, Mia's adopted daughter, Sun Yi. Rather than I saying know, but my there was the nude pictures. Daughter. He's 35 years older. I mean, this disturbing behavior. But the story is really hard to wrap your head around. Woody is well spoken and presenting his side of the story when he goes through. But to watch Dylan's reaction yeah. to hearing and seeing that. Interesting to note that tough. his 1992 interview with Steve Croft on 60 Minutes. It's the only time that he really did a big sit-down interview on camera. Um, He's, back then, that was in the height, the middle of that custody battle, battle, which was so contentious. I remember I was living in New York City at the time, and the headlines and the tabloids everywhere. But here's more of the interview where he defended his relationship with Sun Yi. One of the things that seems to bother people a lot about this mm -hmm. is the fact that from your initial statements, mm -hmm. there was no sense at all that you had done anything questionable or wrong? Well, from where I sat, of course, I understand why people think that, and they're correct in, in, in their, their perceiving it uh, <laughs> that way. From where I sat, I did not feel that it's conceivable to me 
that it's controversial, that it was controversial. I understand that. And as I say, I take full responsibility Did for you that. Have what I'm getting at here is there has been an attempt to link my relationship with Sun Sunni with charges of child molestation. There are two completely different things. I have an adult relationship with Sunni. To those people that feel they want to feel that it's it's questionable or not their taste or they or she's too young for me or she's Mia's daughter or whatever they want to think, I'll take that heat. I, I'm responsible for that. I accept all the criticism that they want. You know, that it, it, it's my life and it's Sunni's life and I, I accept that. That does not mean that I should be charged with child molestation. That's a fair statement right there. They are still together, he and yes. Sunni. Um, it's just the whole thing. We had Meryl Hemingway on our show and in her book. She talks about when she was very young in the movie Manhattan mm -hmm. and sort of the moves that were made on her the fascination happened, with young the women. The fascination with young and trying to go to Paris. So clearly there's something there that's very disturbing. So then when you hear the allegations and you see Dylan so upset. When but finding nude pictures of, you know, your daughter, as Mia did, that's disturbing. Yeah. Polaroid pictures in it. Ugh. Anyway, let's switch, let's switch gears um, okay. because that's been tried. It's gone through the criminal justice system already. And, but what um, will happen now, it is yeah. interesting to hear again. And will Woody speak again? He released a statement. But will he go on camera again? Will he address this again? We shall see. You know, I, I don't know. I mean, I think he just keeps going back to the statement that he put out today and goes back to what he has said and always said. Movies.